Todd Matheson with Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. Thanks for joining with me for some Daily Hope. Today marks the 505th anniversary of the Protestant Reformation, a movement of God through which the Christian church recaptured the centrality of the gospel of Jesus Christ as its message and mission. I'm wearing the color red today in commemoration of this historic event. Now, you might be wondering why something that happened 500 years ago, why would that have any meaning for you today? Well, I want to issue you both a challenge and an invitation that stems from the heart of the Reformation. The anecdotal start of the Reformation was something that Martin Luther did. He was a Catholic priest who was saddened by false theology and practice in the church of the 1500s, basically where people were being invited to give money to the church so that their sins or the sins of their loved ones would be forgiven. I mean, think of that. Money in exchange for salvation. Do you see the problem with that? What the Reformation did was to recover the centrality of salvation through faith alone in Jesus Christ, given as a gift of God's grace alone. You don't need to pay money in order to be saved. In fact, you can't. Salvation comes only through God's grace, through faith in Jesus Christ alone. That's it, period. One Bible passage that really drove this home for Martin Luther was from Romans chapter 1, where the Bible says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to, self, to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Now, it seems that the church needs to regularly reclaim this foundation of salvation as a gift from God and not based on our own actions. In fact, this has been going on from the very beginning of the Christian church. The book of Acts, chapter 15, reports a church council in Jerusalem where church leaders were deciding whether salvation was based on what people did or what God has done. The issue was whether non-Jewish converts to Christianity needed to become Jewish in order to be Christian. Now, while that might seem a moot point to you today, it certainly wasn't to those non-Jewish converts as well as to the newly formed Christian church. It was a lively discussion. And praise God that the Holy Spirit led the New Testament church leadership to understand that salvation was all from God and not based on human action or merit. And that's essentially what happened again, now just 505 years ago in the Protestant Reformation, a recapturing of the foundational truth that salvation can't be bought, but it's a gift from God, not what people do or even who they are, but it's a gift from God himself based on the merits of Jesus Christ alone and not based on what you or I do. And that is the meaning of the Reformation today. Your security in Jesus Christ is not based on what you do at all. Done. Period. It's based on what God has done for you in Christ Jesus. And that's good news and can bring you freedom and hope each day, knowing that you are secure in the gracious arms of Jesus Christ. So let today be another day of reformation for you, remembering and reforming your hope in Jesus Christ based on on him alone. Rest easy and securely in the arms of Jesus today. Let's pray. 
Lord Jesus Christ, it's you that has done all that's necessary for our salvation. You've paid the price for our sin and your righteousness is given to us as a gift, declared righteous and holy because of you. And we praise your name. This day, as we remember the Reformation of over 500 years ago, may your Holy Spirit work in us the joy and freedom of knowing that our salvation is, is it's from you. It's a gift and we just get to receive it and then live into it. And for anyone today who's watching or listening that might be you know, wrestling with the vitality of their faith, may they look to you and by your Holy Spirit and through your word, may they be strengthened in their heart and in their assurance that their salvation, their faith comes from you and you are ready to give it every day. May this be a day of reformation for all of us. I ask in Jesus' name. Thanks for joining with me today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.